Hello guys, welcome to TIC. I got so fascinated by 3D printers that I decided to make one myself. In this video, I will be explaining about the specification of the components and the parts which I bought online for making my 3D printers and the things that you should bear in your mind while ordering these parts online. So guys, let's start. This is the control board, RAMS 1.4. The smaller PCBs which you can see over here, these are the stepper motor drivers and we require four of them. The whole PCB is mounted onto a Arduino Mega 2560 board and uh, it is connected to a smart LCD controller. It comes with a SD card slot so you can directly load the G code in this SD card and control the PCB from this smart controller without using your laptop. You will require five stepper motors. I have used a NEMA 17 stepper motor, but be careful, buy only bipolar stepper motor. The bipolar stepper motor comes with a four lead and as well as a six lead configuration, but be careful, use only four wire connector for a six lead bipolar stepper motor also. We use a flexible coupling for connecting lead screw and stepper motor. The one end of this coupling has 8 mm hole and the other end has 5 mm hole. The lead screw, I have used a 8 mm lead screw and the length is 30 cm. It comes with a brass nut. For giving support to the lead screw and for the free rotation of the lead screw, we require radial bearing and we require two of them for our 3D printer. You will require uh, two meters of timing belt, uh, GT2 timing belt and four pulleys for providing the drive to the platforms. This is hot end assembly which consists of a cooling fan, teflon tubing, nozzle, heater and a temperature sensor. We require 4 smooth road, 2 for x axis and 2 for y axis. The diameter is 8 mm and length is 50 cm. For the smooth travel of this uh, platform along the guide we require linear bearing, 8 linear bearing. 4 for x axis and 4 for y axis. This red plate over here is the heat bed which is primarily used while using ABS plastic for printing. This is a limit switch which is acts as an end stop. It is fitted at one end of the guide which is triggered by a physical contact of the platform. When triggered it tells the control board that the platform has reached its end and the motor stepper motor is stopped. We require three, one for each axis. This is the extruder. The function of an extruder is to pull the filament and push it till the nozzle end. As a raw material, you can use uh, either a PLA or a ABS plastic filament. This is the power supply. Input is 220 volt, output is 12 volt, 20 amperes and 240 volts. Make sure that before using this power source you select the switch to 220 volt if you are using a 220 volt input supply. It has 3 12 volt output. Make sure that you use a thick gauge wire for the output as the heaters consume a lot of power and the high current flows through these wires. If you are using a thin wire there are chances that that wire may get heated up and the chances of fire. So make sure that you use a thick gauge wire for your output. For making the frame you require 2 inch by 1 inch aluminium channel, 5 mm nut and bolt, tie straps and some 90 degree elbow pieces. So guys you can buy all these parts from online store of your choice. In next video I will show you how to build the 3D printer frame. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the notification of next video.